Welcome back to another episode on the Crossbar Channel. We're talking Liverpool, Manchester United. The game just ended and my mind's still blown away. Who expected us? 7-0 for Liverpool, 7-0 for Liverpool against Manchester United. What a performance. So, yeah, we're going to talk that game and do the whole Premier League weekly review since all the game pretty much over. They see the one game that left play, Brentford and Fulham on Monday. Other than that, all the games have been played. So, let's just dive into it between Liverpool, Man United and the rest of the league. Let's go. Alright, the game just ended. Manchester United just suffered their biggest loss, I believe, with Liverpool 7-0. Um, the goal scorer were Cody Gagpo, Darwin Nunez, Mo Salah, and Roberto Firmino, I believe. Yeah, um, a long 7-0. It was a little closer. Remind me a bit of the Brazil and Germany, although Man United, Man United did not look as helpless as, as Germany did during the World Cup. Uh, United seemed to be fighting pretty much almost till the end. Uh, it looked like they were still fighting, but uh, yeah, I didn't see this coming. I don't think anyone did, uh, but yeah, bigger picture. What does this win really or this loss mean for United? Now, I think it's going to be up to them. It's going to be up to Ten Hag and his boys. Go out there in the locker room and tell them, we've messed up today. We dropped the ball. This is embarrassing. This is historically embarrassing. But it's only one game and it's only three points that we've lost. And those are huge three points, especially since uh, Man City and Arsenal won. And if you're trying to be in the mix for the title race, there's a huge three point that you, you just dropped. But it was not unconceivable that they would have lost that game against Liverpool. So it wasn't one of those games where when they were doing the you know the, the eval and thinking, okay, the, the provision, which game they're going to win, which, which game they're going to lose. That Liverpool game at the beginning of the season wasn't the type of game that they, they were in the definite win column. So it's not so much of a big loss. It is the huge loss as far as historically the score and momentum timing matter you're losing when city and arsenal won that's the problem but other than that i think that's ten Hag need to show how good of a manager he is also on defeat especially historical one that's that's an embarrassment for ages but like i say the most important thing not to lose sight of is what do we do from now because uh but so as liverpool we need to talk about the team that won you know let's not focus on united only liverpool winning Put themselves back, definitely back in the top four race. They're not three points behind Tottenham and they still have one game in hand, I believe. So anything is possible. I kind of knew that coming into January that Liverpool, as much as the season looks almost close, almost similar as Chelsea, as far as the, po the point and the numbers were suggesting that they're the one that can actually push for top four. And I really think they're going to push for top four. You know, I kind of st started to see a glimpse of it. Of Gakpo and Nunez paying off. I remember I said in a different two different videos now that even the game against Real Madrid, by the first half, you can see it's time to gel these two. Uh, the team is starting to gel. And then last weekend and now this weekend. So are they building any momentum that's gonna translate in the Champions League? We shall see. That's a different animal, they're facing a different team in a different country. So as far as the league is concerned, Liverpool is definitely positioning themselves for a top four spot. Now the fifth. Newcastle dropped again. So now Liverpool is fifth, uh, three points behind Tottenham, and they still have a game in hand. So re realistically, Liverpool is actually, let's say, four points behind United if they won that um, a game in hand. But yeah, and United also have a game in hand. So anyways, 7-0, the two teams, the clash of the Titan, the two biggest enemy in Premier League. Because City and United are really... City rivals, as far as you know, the neighbor rival, but Liverpool is the arch nemesis. Uh, yeah, 7 0. There's no coming back from that unless it's winning, getting, getting on a winning streak and not giving up. Hopefully, this defeat does not um, mess up the cohesion in the squad and uh, they can get up and move back forward. As far as Liverpool, this is it. That's a good time to pick up momentum, start winning game. They've, you know, beside losing against Real Madrid. Badly losing, uh, I, I give you that. But start getting momentum. Who knows? Can they carry on over to the Champions League, or can they carry a higher 
in the table. I don't see them challenging for the second spot because City and Arsenal are way too far. But definitely, I see them making top four. And that's the big news. Liverpool making top four, it's huge for them, especially if they're really serious about getting Jude Bellingham uh, next uh, this coming summer. Champions League football is a, it's very important for them if they want to have, have a chance at uh, chasing Jude Bellingham and other good players. I think Gakpo and Nunez, they're kind of similar um, as far as like play, pace, etc. So it can be a good combination. Uh, Mo Salah, I was surprised how revived he was because he's been looking a little bit eh, tired-ish the last uh, few games. Like he's still efficient, but he looked a little almost like Firmino, almost out of gas over the time, not just out of gas on the game, but like over the time for all the effort if they've uh, they've done for Liverpool the past you know five seven years. But today he looked like they look twenty seven years old again. Uh, yeah, great game for Liverpool, huge win. The fans are ecstatic. The people that will understand will never forget that game. Even us that were watching on TV, we're, not, we're never going to forget this game. Um, but yeah, kudos for Liverpool. Congratulations for Liverpool. But it's not done yet. They, can, they need to push and challenge Tottenham for that top four spot. Tottenham and United, really, for that top four spot. Now, does that mean the title race is over for United? I'm going to say, to be honest, yes, because there are only 12 games left. Well, United still have 13 games. So depending how they handle their game in hand, if they don't win their game in hand, I'm going to say it's definitely over because you're gonna, they're going to have 12 games left. They can't afford to go this further uh, down the line. But as far as now, I'm going to say half a chance still there because Arsenal still have to play you know, City in the league and United can go on a streak. And if they win their, if they win their game in hand, they're not that far off. They're only six points. Oh, there will be 11 points with Arsenal. Tyler is kind of, I'm going to say Tyler is pretty much over. Unless something major happened, Arsenal, you know, just like Newcastle, fades away. Uh, but as far as now, I'm going to say, I'm going to pause it. We're going to reevaluate their title chance in four weeks, let's say, in a month. In four games, let's say. In four games, we're going to reevaluate. Uh, but that was not the only action in the Premier League. Uh, like I say, pretty much all the games have been played except for one, Brentford against Fulham. They will face off on Monday. Yeah, Nottingham Forest and Everton 2-2. That was the other game, the early game today. Uh, Johnson scored a brace for Nottingham Forest. And Ducure and Demare score. Demare Gray score for um, Everton. Southampton defeated Leicester City 1-0. Arsenal, I would say, won 3-2 against Bournemouth. That epic win, 97 minutes. By uh, that goal by Race Nelson. Uh, Wolves, the Wolves defeated Tottenham 1-0. Aston Villa defeated Crystal Palace 1-0. Brighton defeated West Ham 4-0. Chelsea finally get a W against Leeds United 1-0. And uh, Manchester City against Newcastle 2-0 for the Citizen. So yeah, Newcastle is really dropping the ball. Falling way off the top four. Now they're sixth on the table. They might even make it to Europa League depending on you know, if Fulham makes the push. Um, the table is as follows. Arsenal first, 63 points. City second, 58 points. United third, 20, uh, 49 points, but one game in hand. Uh, Tottenham, 45 points. Liverpool is fifth. Newcastle, sixth. Next game in the Premier League, Bournemouth against Liverpool. So Liverpool can have back-to-back -back wins. This is not the type of game you want to drop the ball after beating United 7-0. Now expectations are high. They have to defeat Bournemouth. They don't have to be a 4 nil just to get the three-point and put some pressure on Tottenham. Uh, Leicester City is going to face Chelsea uh, the same day on Saturday. Tottenham is going to face Nottingham Forest, Everton and Brentford, Leeds United, Brighton, Crystal Palace, Manchester City. And then Sunday, uh, Manchester United facing Southampton. A good team to bounce back from. Uh, really, they pretty much second, they're pretty much second to last. If you're gonna, hopefully they're not gonna be still be hungover from this game against Liverpool. But United, United has a chance to bounce back, easy back in the competition. Now this is a game they can't afford to lose. As embarrassing as it is to lose against Liverpool, okay, but you can't lose back to back, especially at home against Southampton. Then Fulham plays Arsenal. Arsenal is gonna have to push the pace and still trying to keep City at elbow length because City is playing Crystal Palace. Fair to say City is going to win, 
Arsenal also need to win that game. West Ham, Aston Villa is the next game. Newcastle and Wolves will face off uh, for the, the last, very last game on Sunday. So that's it for the Premier League. Like I say, super shocker. United got the pants pulled out down in front of the world. 7-0. It's massive spank by Liverpool. Let's see how they handle it. How um, Eric Ten Hag talked to his guys to let them know. If I were him, I'd tell him this was embarrassing. But we still have 13 games to go. So let's rally it up. We still have 13 games in the league. Still on for the Europa League. Still on, on the FA Cup. The season is now completely lost. How will they respond to this humiliation? 